Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have covered the concept of bulk converter and we derived the following parameter from lecture from serial number 1 to 14 and we got this much formula in summary in the last lecture that we have derived from 1 to 11 okay so in this lecture that is the lecture number 23a we will solve some problem that has been asked in previous year gate exam from 1991 to 2012 that is based on buck converter so let us proceed to the first problem a step down chopper is operated in continuous conduction mode continuous conduction mode is given in a steady state with a constant duty ratio is given d if v0 is the magnitude of dc output voltage and vs is the magnitude of dc input voltage and the ratio of v0 upon vs we know that v0 is equal to dvs so v0 upon vs will come out to be d since this is a step down chopper so v0 is equal to dvs so option a is correct now see the second problem in the chopper circuit shown in figure the input dc voltage has a constant value vs the output voltage v0 is assumed to be ripple free the switch is operated with a switching time period a t is given and d to is a d is given what is the value of d at the boundary of continuous and discontinuous conduction of inductor current il what do you mean by this this means we have to find the value of d at the boundary of continuous and discontinuous conduction i have already explained you at the boundary of the continuous and discontinuous conduction mode i l minimum is equal to zero i don't know the formula only i know the step at the boundary i l minimum is equal to zero and we know that i l minimum is nothing but i l minus del i l by 2 is equal to zero okay i l can be replaced by i naught we know that in buck converter i l average is equal to i naught and del i l can be replaced by d into 1 minus d into v s upon f l this i have already explained you i naught can be replaced by v naught upon r and that can also be replaced see here here r load is connected so v naught upon r and v naught can be replaced by d v s upon r okay so cancel out this d v s d v s you will get 1 minus d is equal to 2 f l upon r then what is the value of d 1 minus 2 f l upon r now we know that 1 upon f is nothing but time period so i can write 1 minus 2 l upon r t d so at the boundary of continuous and discontinuous mode the d the duty cycle will come out to be 1 minus 2 l upon r t that is option c is correct so no need to buy her the formula only know the procedure how to approach this kind of problem okay see the third problem a chopper is employed to charge a battery as shown in figure i have to charge a battery of 12 volt this is the 12 volt battery okay the charging current is 5 ampere charging current 5 ampere is already given duty ratio is given that is equal to 0.2 the chopper output voltage is also shown in figure this is the chopper output voltage the waveform of chopper output voltage is like this okay it is somehow like this and maximum voltage is 60 volt right now we have to find the peak to peak ripple current in the charging current means we have to find the del i l okay so to find the del i l what the procedure i told you i told you to find the del i l always first find v l on v l on as i will get that is equal to v s minus v naught okay and see here this is the output voltage waveform and during on condition what is the output voltage output voltage is equal to supply voltage that is equal to 60 volt okay and during off condition it will not give any output voltage so vs i am getting that is equal to 60 volt that can be derived from this output voltage waveform during on condition v0 is equal to vs right so vs will come out to be 60 volt now what is the value of v0 v0 is output voltage that is equal to 12 volt so it will be 60 minus 12 that is equal to 48 volt now i got vl on okay vl on is equal to 48 volt so i can replace vl on is equal to l di by dt okay that is equal to 48 l di can be replaced by del i l i have already explained you while giving you the concept del i l and during turn on we are finding so what is the dt dt will come out to be t on that is equal to dt okay that is equal to 48 so it will be del i l is equal to 48 dt upon l d is given that is equal to 0.2 okay 
L is given that is equal to 20 milli Henry. Now find the time period. So time period can be found by the waveform output voltage. See here, it is on for 200 microsecond and off till 1 millisecond. This is the time period. 1 millisecond is the time period. So time period will be 1 millisecond. So put the value of D, T and L, you will get del I L is equal to 0 0.5. 48 ampere that is the option a is correct in this way you have to approach just see the waveform waveform of output voltage is like this find vs and now you have to find the del il so to find the del il what are the procedure first find vl on vl in on in buck converter that is equal to vs minus v0 so 60 minus v0 is 12 already given 48 now replace vl on is equal to ldi by dt and find del il you have to just know the procedure. See what you can do. Go through the nodes and first write down these 14 points. Okay. And draw this circuit. After that, try to find the all the parameters without seeing the nodes by yourself by following the circuit. Okay. Once you will know the steps, how to find these all parameter, then you can easily deal with any kind of problem in buck converter. So do this for exercise. So finally, I am getting del IL is equal to 0.48 ampere that is option A is correct and this has been asked in gate zone 3 ok now see the next problem figure shows a chopper operating from 100 volt DC input input supply this is VS is given that is equal to 100 volt the duty ratio of main switch is 0.8 D is equal to 0.8 the load is sufficiently inductive so that load current is ripple free I already told you the most of the question are from continuous conduction mode so I naught is constant the average current through the diode under a steady state see this is the buck converter so average current i have to find id average i have already found how to find the id average see this is i naught i naught is constant and this is dt and this is total time t from where to where i will get id current current in diode when this switch will off when this switch will be off then this inductor will dissipate its energy from free willing diode like this so id current i will get when this switch will be off and switch will be off from dt to t so id current i will get from dt to t and maximum current will be i naught and here i naught is constant so what is the value of id average id average is equal to i naught what is the conduction angle conduction angle is t minus dt that is equal to 1 minus d into t upon total time period is t no need to by heart the formula so you will get i naught is i naught into 1 minus d now due to cycle is given 0.8 so 0 0.2 into i naught now i naught is not given so to find the i naught what is, i have to do i naught is v naught upon r okay and v naught is nothing but dvs so dvs upon r d is given 0.8 vs is 100 that is 80 upon r is 10 that is equal to 8 ampere so it will be 0 0.2 into 8 that is equal to 1.6 ampere so option a is correct no need to by heart the formula just see the waveform and find id average id rms whatever you want to find that's why i am telling you that write down these 14 points and try to find all the parameters by your own just referring the notes try to find all the parameters you will understand the procedure of finding all the parameters then you can easily deal with any kind of problem okay so do this exercise it will benefit you so finally id average i am getting that is equal to 1.6 ampere so option a is correct this has been asked in gate 2004 now see the next problem figure shows a step down chopper switching frequency is given 1 kilohertz with a duty ratio of 0.5 the peak to peak ripple in the load current the peak to peak ripple we have to find let us first find this is buck converter boost converter or buck boost converter this is buck converter okay now in in buck converter i have to find del i l i don't know the formula of del i l so what i can do i will just find the vl on vl on is equal to vs minus v naught okay and i can replace vl on is equal to l del i l upon t on that is dt is equal to vs minus v naught okay you will get del i l put v naught is equal to dvs you will get 1 minus d into vs and this will be d upon fl now you know d so 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 vs is given as 100 upon switching frequency is given as 1 kilohertz inductor is given as 200 into 10 to the power minus 3 so del il will come out to be 0 0.125 ampere okay so don't by hurt this del il 
because at the end when you will see buck converter boost converter and buck boost converter then del il you will get 3 so it will be difficult to memorize all the formula so just know the procedure how to find the del il to find the del il find the first vl on vl on you will get vs minus v naught now vl on can be replaced by l del il upon dt because we are talking about turning on condition so it's from 0 to dt i am talking about so in this way you can find del il put the value and get the result so del il i am getting that is equal to 0 0.25 ampere option c is correct this has been asked in gate 2005 and the concept has been discussed in previous lecture okay now see the next problem this is gate 2012 problem in the circuit zone an ideal switch is operate as 100 kilohertz this is the switching frequency with a duty ratio of 50 percent that is equal to 0 0.5 given that del ic is equal to 1.6 ampere okay that is equal to peak to peak and i naught is given as 5 ampere then the peak current in switch s what is the peak current in switch s we have to find the iswp peak. okay see here the question they are trying to play with your mind here del ic is given but if i have already drawn the waveform of ic like this ic is varying from del il by 2 upon into uh, and uh, in negative it is minus del il by 2 so what is this this is del il only okay so if del ic is given that is nothing but del ic is equal to del il only they are playing with your mind just by giving del ic so remember this del il is given that is equal to 1.6 ampere okay now you have to find the iswp peak means peak current in the switch so iswp peak is nothing but il max only see here this inductor current have some maximum current flowing that is only equal to the peak current across the switch only because during turn on if you will plot the il the uh, the waveform of il it will be like this okay during on condition you will get the switch current so switch current will follow the inductor current like this and when you when you will remove this switch then inductor current will decrease like this so peak current i am getting that is equal to il max and i will get il max till this switch was conducting so iswp peak will be il max only is it fine so they are playing with your mind just by asking iswp peak and giving del ic you have to know the waveform del ic is nothing but del il only and iswp peak in big buck converter is nothing but il max only so now i can find il max is equal to il average plus del il by 2 okay and il average in buck converter it is equal to i naught plus del il by 2 del il is given i naught is 5 ampere is given so 5 plus i naught is del il is 1.6 by 2 that you will get 5.8 ampere so option c is correct got it so don't by heard the formula see here switch i haven't found the peak switch current in previous lecture but here you can see that peak switch current is nothing but peak inductor current only because when switch will be turned on then inductor current will reach to the maximum value and when this switch will be off then inductor current will decay so maximum value i will get when switch is on so iswp peak is equal to il max only this concept you have to keep in mind in this way you can approach so finally option c is correct so that's all about this lecture in the next lecture that is lecture number 23b we will solve the gate previous year problem based on buck converter from 2013 to 2017 okay so if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and subscribe to this channel for doubt solving you can join our facebook group thanks for watching this video